ingenious supplies. Today we got land upgrades for you. Come back Tuesday. We got all commanders. Well, howdy. I didn't see you there, Spikes. Welcome back to another game of <laughs> Outlaws at Thunder Junction Precons. I hate it here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, that was Jim's idea. He is holding me hostage. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, speaking of holding hostage, uh, outlaws, mercenaries, uh, bad guys doing crime, that's us today. Uh, and we are going to be playing the Outlaws of Thunder Junction Precons with some mana base upgrades. Uh, so just to make the, the decks run a little bit smoother. Uh, thank you once again to Watsi for sending these decks to us uh, for us to play with early so that we can get this content to you as soon as physically possible. As well, I would like to shout out our lovely sponsor, Game Genic. They create just the highest quality gaming accessories. Uh, you get mats, you get sleeves, you get uh, games layers, you get everything that you would possibly need uh, to protect your magic collection. And you should uh, buy the best if you have the best or want the best. Uh, or are the best. Or are the best. And speaking of, I'm going first again, baby. I'm back and I'm here with a vengeance. Uh, today I'm playing the quick draw deck. So this is the Stella Lee wild card spell slinger is it deck. Uh, I'm going to do this better than Jim did. Ah! <laughs> Editor Phil, please make that look cool, <laughs> please. Uh, so yeah. asking the editor to do things, please. and they just don't do any of it yeah. ever. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the Is It Spellslinger deck. Uh, cares a lot about casting multiple spells per turn. Uh, the breakpoint is usually your second spell, and then once you hit three or more, Stella Lee can start copying stuff. Uh, and there are some uh, banger cards to copy in this deck. Let me tell you what, partner. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going first in turn order. And uh, Aaron, who are you playing today? Uh, hello, I'm Aaron. I'm playing Gaunti Canny Acquisitor from the Grand Larceny uh, precon set. It's a Sultai, uh, I'm going to steal your things a deck. Similar to Edric, I want to play a lot of kind of evasive guys to get in, take a, advantage of my commander's ability, and then make what yours is mine. So mm -hmm. I own it now. Oh. I take that. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm Jim. And today I'm wanted. <laughs> wanted. <laughs> I'm playing most wanted. Uh, this is a deck uh, helmed by Olivia Opulent Outlaw. Uh, this is a deck that's all about uh, treasure and uh, sacrifice and treasure. Whenever one or more outlaws, that's that's multiple creature types. We'll put them up on the screen. <laughs> what sound effects? What sound effects? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the warlock sound effect? That's a <laughs> No, it's like it's like a Pokemon. Right? Warlock, war, 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 warlock, warlock. <laughs> oh, this went off the rails real quick. That's what I'm playing. Yeah, sure is. Uh, hi, everybody. My name's Alex, and today I'm playing Desert Bloom, helmed by Yuma, proud protector. Shout out to my trans mask homies. Today we're playing a desert deck, so all these land upgrades are really going to help me out with all my landfall and all my desertification and throwing things in the bin. I'm really hoping it works out so I can kill all my friends. I, I, I hope that you don't do that, but that's a personal thing. So. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Should we crack in? Yes. I'm going to kick us off once again by playing a Bloodstained Mire. Ooh. And uh, I think I'm going to crack it going to 39. So off my Bloodstained Mire, I'm going to find this volcanic island. Uh, shout out old cards that are really good still. <laughs> uh, and you know what? I'll keep that theme in line. Preordain. Mm. Preordain's a really good card. I'm going to scry two and draw a card. Uh, I'm going to put one on the bottom, one on top, uh, and then I'm going to draw and fix this stuff as I pass the turn <laughs> to Aaron. <laughs> I will draw a card. I will also play a Bloodstained Mire. That's so crazy. Go to 39. I'm going to find a Zagoth Triome, and I will pass. Okay. I'll draw a card. I'm going to play this Plateau and pass the turn. Sounds good. Draw. I'm going to play Planes. Pass the turn. Excellent. That's way less exciting. I was <laughs> saying, we really upgraded my Lance. <laughs> it's Guru Planes. Yeah. Ah, oh, is it? No. no. <laughs> I will play this Sulfur Falls, pairs nicely with a Volcanic Island, and I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Do you think they knew that when they designed it in Alpha? That, like, you know. I think they knew that uh, a million years later they were going to print Sulfur Falls. <laughs> That's good. That's fair. All right, I want to lead with a Wooded Foothills, and I'm going to shortcut a second here, but I'm going to get a line off this that casts three visits. 
uh, and find many lands and put them on the battlefield. This will cost me a little life, going to 38. Okay. Okay, so my three visit, or so I guess, guess my water fiddles would have turned into this bayou, which is then going to find a breeding pool off the three visits. Don't mind me. That'll be it. All right. I will draw a card. I'm going to play a city brass and pass the turn. Okie dokie. I'm going to draw. We're going to play a Hashtep Oasis. Uh, we're going to pay one life, go to 39, ouch, to put a Seder Wayfinder onto the battlefield. Ooh. When it enters the battlefield, we'll reveal the top four cards of my library. A Forest. A Kiri. Skullwinder. Thrilling Discovery. So all but the forest go into my graveyard, and this goes into my hand. Mm -hmm. Then we'll pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I'm going to think a second time, uh, casting this Think Twice mm -hmm. to draw a card. Wow, it finally happened. I swear I got there. Mean. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Untap and draw a card. Uh, I believe I'm just going to play this Mountain into Stella Lee Wild card. Play my commander on turn three and pass the turn. <laughs> Untap, draw, play Morphic Pool for land. I'm going to cast uh, my commander from another universe, Gaunty, Lord of Luxury. Ooh. Before he became a canny uh, acquisitor. That's the name of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gaunty, Lord of Luxury is 2-3 Death Touch. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of target opponent's library, exile one of them face down. I may cast the exiled card as long as it remains exiled and use any mana of any color to cast it. Mm -hmm. I think I want bill cards. Dang. Top I, four, please. I also want my cards. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm taking this one, and those can go back on the bottom uh, of your library, please. He uh, decided that too quickly for my liking. I am now scared. <laughs> yeah, I will pass the turn. Okay, I'll draw a card. Uh, I'm going to play this Battlefield 4, just my land for turn. Tap it for colorless. Tap one off the City of Brass, going to 39. And I'm going to cast Shiny Ippentus on Gaunty. I'm into that. Gives plus. it plus two plus two and goads it, and whenever it attacks, I create a treasure. Ooh, and then three. I will pass. All right. And untap, upkeep, and draw. We'll play a forest as our land for turn. One, two, three. For Elvish Rejuvenator. When it enters the battlefield, I get to look at the top five cards in my library. I may put a land from among them onto the battlefield tapped and put the rest in the bottom of my library in any order. Wow. Oh. No, sorry, in a random order. One, two, three. Four, in any order as long as five. it's random. <laughs> yes. I will play this Jetmere's Garden off of that. Ooh. Yeah, I swear I upgraded something. In it. Just, hey, there you go. <laughs> just, just that. <laughs> Not a lot of deserts to upgrade, unfortunately. Mm, yeah, yeah I, say, I think they printed almost all of them that could go yeah. in the deck. In the deck. <laughs> oh, should I attack Jim for one and make an enemy? No, I'll just pass. That's okay. smart. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will untap and draw a card. Uh, I'm going to kick things off by playing an island into an is it signet. Uh, and then as my second uh, spell for the turn, I'm going to tap the remainder of my mana to play this Cursed Mirror. Uh, so as Cursed Mirror enters the battlefield, I may have it become a copy of any creature on the battlefield until I'm turned, except it has haste. Also oh, a so, Wayfinder, right? Uh, obviously. Um, so because that was the second spell, uh, Stella Lee will trigger, and I exile the top card of my library. Until the end of my next turn, I may play that card. Uh, Polluted Delta. That's, that's a card that is probably going to get played at some point. Uh, I now have a Gaunty. I'm going to trigger Gaunty and target Alex. <gasps> okay. Give me some cards, please. Deserts, please. Now you got to get a Gaunty and target me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's going to exile this card face down. Uh, and then you can have the rest of these. That's fine. We're going to put those on the bottom of your, your library? <laughs> uh, almost. <laughs> Don't look at it me. It says put them on the bottom. <laughs> uh, okay. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Ooh, ominous. Ominous. What's one Untap. I want to play a Undergrowth Stadium. Sure. I'm going to cast my other commander, Ether Gaunty. Canny <laughs> Acquisitor. <laughs> this Gaunty is a 5-5. Five five. Spells you cast but don't own, cost one less. Whenever one more creatures you control, they'll combat damage to a player. Look at the top card of that player's library, then exile face down. You may play that card as long as it remains exiled and spend any mana of any type to cast that spell. It looks kind of similar. To over here. Yeah. What are you reading that card for? Yeah. Oh, the combat. <laughs> Attack Bill. What? I'll make a treasure. Uh, I have Menace, I think. I don't have Menace. I'm still making a treasure. Yeah, Go yeah. Goaded with I don't know why sauce. I thought this said Menace, but you're not going to block with your commander. So yeah, I'm not okay. going to I'm not gonna block it anyway. So that's four damage. Yeah, that's it plus is two plus two. four. Yeah, so I'll go to 35. Does it count as commander damage? Because no. it's the same lineage? No. <laughs> um, from the same vineyard. I would like to. I would like to, I would like to look at the top part of your library and then exile it. I don't know why I have to look at it first. Well, but no. Just exile it. My Gaunties only have bill cards. 
I mean, they're pretty, uh, good, they're pretty good cards. <laughs> I would quality. like to pass the turn. I'm going to untap, draw a card. I'm going to play a Plains as my land for turn. I'm going to tap four, uh, taking one pain off the City of Brass. Oh, 38. 38. Free fall. And I'm going to cast my commander, Olivia, uh, Olivia Opulent Outlaw. <laughs> Uh, so this is a 3-3 three, three Flying Lifelink. Uh, whenever one or more outlaws I control deal combat damage to a player, create a treasure, and I can pay three and sacrifice two treasures to put two plus one plus one counters on each creature I control as a sorcery. Then uh, if that resolves, I'm going to pass. Sounds good. We're going to untap, upkeep, and draw. I'll play a mountain as my land for turn. I'll tap one, two, three, four, five for escape to the wild. Ooh, that's a good card. I exile the top five cards in my library. I may play those cards exiled this way until the end of my next turn, and I may play an additional land this turn. Ooh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody in the wild, so come on in. Jive. Play until the end of your next turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got some stuff there. Uh, I will let that go. And for my second land drop for the turn, I will play a planes. Pass the turn. Excellent. Uh, I will untap. Oh, he didn't use his mana. Didn't. It was it was a, a gambit. Oh, I've been had. <laughs> I'm gonna play an island as my land for the turn, and I want to cast some amount of spells. I think uh, I will tap this cursed mirror, uh, as well as three additional lands, uh, to play this deep analysis targeting myself. Uh, I would like to draw two cards, please. Seems great. Yoink. Then I'm going to tap the Sulphur Falls for a red to Faithless Looting. Uh, that is my second spell, so that will trigger Stella Lee. Uh, so I will banish, uh, I'll exile the top card of my library. I forgot to play this Polluted Delta, so it is banished forever uh, because that's just how that works. But I'm going to replace you. it. I'm playing too much uh, other card games. Uh, it's also, <laughs> flesh, also in Flesh and Blood. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, yeah, so I will Faithless Looting, uh, draw two cards, then discard two cards. Uh, I will discard an Island as well as a Vandal Blast. Okay. It could be relevant against Jim for like in a while, but I think I like the remainder of my cards more. So uh, then I'm just going to be passing the turn. I'm not attacking to this 5 5. These guys <laughs> look really polite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just kind of hang out in forests. Yeah. <laughs> Untap. Upkeep draw. Oh, this will cost four. It's way better. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, blue, blue in there. I'm going to cast Arcane Heist. Ooh. I'm gonna. Uh, you may cast target instant sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard to paying its mana cost. If that spell will be put into the graveyard, exile instead uh, with the classic great magic mechanic, Cypher. It is going to be Escape to the yeah, Wild. It has to be Escape to the Wild. Is the card that I'm targeting. That is so good. And I'm gonna Cypher onto Big Gaunty. Hmm. Reasonable. So I'm gonna cast Alex Escape to the Wild. Again, exile top five cards in my library. I may play cards this way until the end of my next turn. I can also play an additional land. So. Please, Gaunty Canny Inquisitor is my father. <laughs> I like to think that he's uh, just Scottish all of a sudden. Canny <laughs> yeah. Inquisitor. Canny Inquisitor. Canny Inquisitor. Canny Inquisitor. <laughs> oh my god. She'll not think much more. <laughs> uh, exile these cards. Uh, some of them are okay. Uh, I am going to play a Mana Confluence for my turn, and also an Exotic Orchard for my turn. It's my second land. And I'm going to move to combat. Hmm. This one has to attack into Bill again, and this Ooh. one's attacking into Jim. Wow. Uh, Jim, I'm going to yeah. do something nice for you, you because don't I, do I don't want this arcane heist to be a thing. Fair. Uh, I'm going to tap this Is It Signet for a blue and a red, and uh, as though it were mana of any color, I'm going to use that to cast uh, this Valorous Stance to destroy oh, target creature with Valorous toughness stance. four or greater. Ooh. Uh, Gaunty. Big Gaunty. Unlucky. Get acquired. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Thanks for your assistance. Big Gaunty. You're welcome. Arcane Ice. <laughs> I, still have, I still have no blocks. Oh, uh, no. I am taking four damage. <laughs> I guess this is all Gaunty cards. Oh wait, this one I can play. I guess 30. it is slightly different. So new Gaunty and old Gaunty. The notable difference is old Gaunty lets you cast it. New Gaunty lets you play it. So oh, you get okay. lands. So that's a notable difference. Sure. Definitely. Okay, so this hits... For four, I'm you, going to 31. 31, yes. I get no other cool triggers because no fun allowed, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna take a damage off my mana confluence here. Oh, I'm gonna I'm put bored. a Kadama's Reach onto the stack. I'm gonna find a forest and a swamp off the Kadama's Reach, putting the forest into play. That'll be it, I guess. Okay, I'm oh, gonna lands. Tap. I have lots of lands. 
Oh, I also got an additional treasure from Gontius. That's, uh, that's a mission trigger. That's a game loss. Yeah. <laughs> Be more I, careful. I accept, <laughs> I accept the terms. <laughs> I'm going to take a pain off the City of Brass, going to 37, and sacrifice one treasure. So we're going to go black, black, two colorless, to cast Rankle, Master of <gasps> Prankles. Oops. Mm -hmm. Rankle. Then I'd like to move to combat. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to send Olivia at Aaron and uh, Rankle at Alex. Mm. Okie dokie. Three damage each. Mm -hmm. Alex to 36, Aaron to 34. Bingo. You to 40. I do, yeah, I need a yes, 40, right? correct. So on combat damage, I've got two triggers. Uh, first, we're gonna go Olivia. I've dealt damage to two players, so that'll trigger twice, netting me a total of three treasures. Uh, and then Rankle's gonna trigger, and we're all going to discard a card, then draw a card and lose a life. Okay. So I'm gonna discard Marshland Bloodcaster. I'll discard Cataclysmic Prospecting. See you later, River Glide Pathway. Swamp. <laughs> and then everybody will draw a card and lose a life. Then I think we're just gonna uh, laisser le bon temps rouler. I'm going to <laughs> uh, pay two, cast this humble defector. Oh. The boy. I do love humble D. He's and back. Then I'm gonna pay another two, and I will cast Grenzo Havoc Razor. Hey. All righty. And then I'm, I'm just gonna pass. Okie dokie. We're gonna untap, we're gonna upkeep, we're gonna draw. Uh, first things first, we'll play this forest as our land for turn, so that way it doesn't stay in exile forever. Then we'll tap one, two, three, four, Hazazon. Shaper Ooh. of Sand. It's got Desert Walk. I may play Desert Card Lands from my graveyard. And whenever a desert enters the battlefield under my control, create two 1-1 one, one red, Ooh. green, and white Sand Warrior creature tokens. I'm then going to tap Powerful. one, two, three, four, for Map the Frontier. Map the Frontier says, search your library for up to two basic land and or desert cards. Ooh. Put them onto the battlefield tapped. Uh, map the Frontier will find me Bristling Backwoods and Creosote Heath, both of which are deserts. Oh, they also have triggers when they enter the battlefield. Oh, they do. I'll target Jim with one of them and Aaron with the other. That's two crime. <laughs> yep. It's too many crimes. Two, two counts of one crime. Two counts <laughs> of one crime. And since they're deserts entering the battlefield, I will make two red, red, two one, one red, green, and white sand creature tokens twice. Yes. So that's four. Twice. That's, <laughs> that's a lot many of, sands. That's a lot of dudes. You clean that up. It's just a pile. Yep. Pass turn. Okay. <laughs> I will untap, uh, upkeep, nothing, draw. Uh, my land for the turn, I'm not going to forget this time. I'm going to play the Flooded Strand from Stella Lee's ability. Uh, I'm going to be cracking this Flooded Strand going to uh, 29. Hmm. Uh, off the Flooded Strand, I'm going to get the Steam Vents and I'm just going to free fall, uh, go to 27, wow. shock that into play. And then I'm just going to see what I can do here. I'm going to see if I can bust this game wide open. I'm leaving it up to the, the Manos Hands of Fate, as it were. I'm tapping all my mana. Okay. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so that would be for a total of uh, X equals six epic experiments. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to exile the top six cards in my library, and then I can cast instant or sorcery spells with mana value X or less from among them. Uh, all cards that were exiled this way that weren't cast go, go to my graveyard. Yeah. Uh, so let us see what happens. That's a whiff. Uh, that's a Niv Mizzet oh. Perun, which is a whiff. Uh, big score uh, is a hit. Finale of Promise is a whiff. Uh, this is uh, five and six. Gutter Snipe. Okay. Okay, it's bad. <laughs> yes, so I did not bust this game wide open. <laughs> However, I do get to cast this big score, uh, which is my second, uh, my second spell for the turn. Uh, so I will cast this, that will trigger Stella Lee and I'll banish, exile, this Radical Idea, which is not a bad one. And then uh, as an additional cost, do I still have to discard a card? Mm -hmm. I do. I'll discard this mountain. Uh, draw two cards and create two treasure tokens. And those are thems right there. Uh, so this experiment uh, did not pan out, but uh, I have six cards in my hand and a bunch of stuff, so I will just uh, pass the turn. Uh, untap. There are fewer Gaunties than before. Draw a card. I'm going to play off of my original commander. Play this mountain I got from Bill. How do you have so many lands in play? I don't, yeah. Wait, is this a Bill mountain? I don't know whose mountain this yeah, is. Yeah, it's mine. This checks out. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five mana. Bleh. I'm going to cast a... Burl's Expertise, Ooh, also good. a bill card. Uh huh. So I'm going to return up to three target artifacts and or creatures of the owner's hand, and then I may play a spell, mana value four or less for my hand, developing its mana cost. So to go bing bang, 
You sure you don't want to draw cards next turn? Bing bang, <laughs> uh, boom. Very good. Uh, and I'm going to play a spell that costs four or less for my hand. It's going to be Doc or Orlock Grizzled Genius. Ooh. Uh, that's a card from the new set. Ooh. It's a 2-3 Bear Druid. Spells you cast from your graveyard or from exile cost two less to cast. Pay one black to play a Cutting Rhetoric. That's a good rate. I'm a fan. <laughs> Extremely. Um, and then I cannot play both of these other ones, so I only get to choose one. I think I'm actually going to choose neither, which is sad. I'm going to pay two for a Dream Thief's Bandana. Uh, Dream Thief's Bandana uh, is a equipment. And whenever a creature deals common damage to a player, look at the top card of that player's library, then exile face down. As long as the card remains exiled, then we play it and play mana. Of any type to cast it, it's just my commander's ability, yeah. but on an equipment. Okay. Uh, it also equips for one, which will cost me one life. Powerful. To 31 to suit up my non commander Gaunty. Naunty. No. Naunty. <laughs> That'd be like Naunty. Um, I'll move the combat. Mm hmm. I have also suddenly realized that I got rid of Jim's blocker, so I can attack him with my creature who was goaded by Jim. <laughs> I'm a that's fool. Sad. That's sad for you. I feel real bad. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> suddenly, I should have maybe kept this humble defector around. Yeah. So I'm going to keep sending this Gaunty to Bill, I guess. <laughs> <sighs> so now it's, he... It's still four. Yeah. You get a uh, Jim gets a treasure, yeah, and if I'm this gonna... gets through, I get a I get a Dream Thief's bandana trigger. It's getting through. That's great. I'd like to look at and then exile top of your library, please. Get a different one. <laughs> All right, fine. Um, <laughs> I'll cost two less. Yeah, pass. Untap. I'm gonna play this Rogue's Passage as my land for turn. I'm going to pay two, including one life. That Damn. is thirty-seven. I'm gonna cast this Grenzo Havoc Razor that nobody knew about. I'm shocked. <laughs> then I'm going to move to combat, and I will attack. Uh, you know what? Same attacks as before. Uh, Olivia coming at Aaron, and Rankle Master of Prankles coming at Alex. Sounds good. I take three. This time I've got three triggers. You had a couple. Uh, one is from Grenzo, one is from Olivia, and one is from Rankle. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll resolve Olivia first, making me two additional treasures, bringing me up to three total. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the same thing we did before with Rankle. Okay to discard a card, then draw one, and take one damage. I'm going to discard Shoot the Sheriff. Mirage Mesa. Galvanic Iteration. <laughs> Underground River. OK, so we'll draw one and take one. So now I've got two Grenzo triggers. I'm going to resolve the first one to go to Doc Orlock. <gasps> and I will uh, exile the top card of Alex's library. And I can play it until end of turn. It's a Decimate. <gasps> I can cast it. <laughs> oh, sorry, I do have a missed trigger here. Yes. For a cutting rhetoric, because you attacked me. Yep. So that exiles the top card of wow. your library. I may play that card as well. I mean, it's exiled. Uh, typical rules here. Bound hey. to play. Ah, cool. That can go. Uh, <laughs> it's a player cast. Uh, uh, you may play. Yeah, you may play. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As if you need more lands. <laughs> so post combat main, I am going to decimate. Oh. Ah, uh, goodbye, cutting yeah. rhetoric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to choose my targets enchantment, artifact, uh, Creature? No. And uh, Alex, your most multicolorist land. Jemir's Garden? You got it. That's the one. Okay, bye bye, Stella. <laughs> womp womp. Womp. Okay, and that's going to be it for me. I'll pass the turn. Okie dokie. All right, I'm going to clean up and untap. Draw for turn. I'm going to go red, red, green, green, one, two, three. You know him. I've known him. <laughs> <laughs> Omnath Locus of Rage. <laughs> That's a, that is a good one. That is a good one. Almost as good as Prismatic Vista. Large trigger. <laughs> yeah. Make a guy. Make a 5-5. Five five. Tap sack. Uh -huh. Go find a basic. I'll get a mountain off Prismatic Vista, making me a second elemental. Damn. Uh -huh. Pass turn. OK. Uh, I'm going to untap. This card is uh, exiled because of my commander's ability. It's not just in defense mode. My Gaunti is in defense mode. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to draw. Okay, I'm going to kick things off. I'm going to play this Command Tower as my land for the turn. And then tapping two islands and a mountain, I'm going to play this Haughty Jin. Uh, so his uh, he has flying. His power is equal to the number of instant and sorcery cards in my graveyard, which is currently 10, by the way. Uh, so he's a 10-4. And uh, instant and sorcery spells I cast cost one less to cast. We are going to do some very interesting things here. Uh, I'm going to pay a blue to cast this Radical Idea. Uh, storm count is two, drawing a card. Uh, then I'm going to tap the Sulphur Falls. I'm going to discard this Reliquary Tower to jumpstart this Radical Idea. 
uh, to draw another card, storm count three. Uh, then I will tap this Volcanic Island to flashback this Deep Analysis from my graveyard uh, to pay three life uh, and draw two cards. Going to 19? Going to 19. Uh, that is Storm Count 4, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'll be fi finalizing my turn with this Elemental Eruption. So one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five. That's a good one. Uh, so I will create a 4-4 four, four red dragon elemental creature token with flying and prowess, uh, and then storm. Ooh. So I will do that five total times. Five total times. Make yeah. five guys, That's a sweet one. burgers and fries. <laughs> um, uh, Haughty Jin's power is still, I believe, nine, if my math is correct. Uh, but they don't have haste or anything, so I will just be passing the turn. That's it? That's it. Just make a, a billion guys. That's cool. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only making a couple guys, and you know, I'm not nearly as impressed. Draw a card. One, two, three, four. I'm going to cast a Hostage Taker. Oh. To take Omnath Hostage. Reasonable. Uh, could you read the uh, trigger to me? Uh, when it enters the battlefield, either, uh, exile uh, another target creature or artifact until Hostage Taker leaves the battlefield. You may cast that card as long as it remains exiled. So if Hostage Taker were to be gone before the ability... If you kill it now, I, I it, don't yeah, get it. it. I don't get an opportunity to cast it. I will path that yeah. Hostage Taker. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. you want to I don't, actually. Right. I'm going to go find a basic. Uh, I will find a swamp off of your path to exile. Mm -hmm. I guess since my dock, uh, Arlock, mm -hmm. I'm going to lose life here. Um, go has to, to attack. Might as well make the attack not terrible. I'm going to pay five and a life here to cast Orin Frostfang. Because my attacking creatures are going death touch. When they hit a player, I draw a card. Yeah, that's really good. I like to move to combat. Yeah. Oh, this seems like a good trade up with Bill. So I'm going to attack this with my goaded bear. And my Gaunti is also goaded. <laughs> Bill, I'm going to continue to attack you. But why me? Because Alex's chump blocks with sand warriors. Uh, I want the chump blocks to be good. Uh, well. He's not a, you know. Commander. I would like to trade my 2 3 with your 10 4 or yeah. your 4 4 prowess. This, all of these blocks are bad. Um, oh, token. oh, you can also block yeah. with your face. I could block with my face. I will make a cards. treasure token. You know what? Fine. You, you can draw some cards. I'll just take it. Uh, take six. six damage, 13. Hell Sick. yeah. Sick. Uh, draw two cards. Pass. <laughs> okay. I'll untap. I'm going to play this Arid Mesa and I will crack it going to 38. I'm gonna get this Scrubland into play off the Arid Mesa. Nice. Mm -hmm. Then I would like to uh, tap two and cast Idol of Oblivion. Then I'm gonna move to combat. I will, uh, same attacks as before. Mm -hmm. Olivia at Aaron and mm -hmm. Rankle at Alex. So again, I've got three triggers. Uh, we'll go Olivia first, making me two treasures, bringing me up to five total. I've got Rankle. This time we're all just gonna draw a card and lose a life. Okay. And I've got two goad, uh, sorry, two uh, triggers. I am going to goad on both of them, and we'll go Doc Orlock and Omnath Locus of Rage mm -hmm. are both goaded. Mm -hmm. In my post combat main phase, I'm going to tap three and cast this Mirror Entity, mm -hmm. and I will activate my Idol of Oblivion to draw a card because I made a token this turn. And then I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Sounds good. We're going to untap, mm -hmm. we're going to upkeep, mm -hmm. we're going to draw. Mm -hmm. We'll tap five, including two green. For Titania, Protector of Argoth. Hmm. Oh, that's a good When card. she enters the battlefield, return target land card, Prismatic Vista, from my graveyard oh. to the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Trigger. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. For Hazazon, Shaper of Sand. I may play desert cards from my graveyard. Mirage Mesa. Triggers. Triggers from Hazazon and Omna? Mm -hmm. Omna. Yes. Yep, cool. Uh, then I'm going to crack Prismatic Vista, Trigger Titania. Make a guy. So off of Prismatic Vista, we'll find a forest, which makes us another elemental, but we're going to represent that slightly differently since we're going to attack soon. Mm -hmm. So these have summoning sickness and these don't. Unfortunately, my Omnath was goaded with the sauce. I don't think that's unfortunate at all. <laughs> you were going to attack with it anyway, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was not. But now I am. Bill. 15. 15. But I'm at 12. Yeah. Block Omnath with one of my dragons. Take attempt 10. to take 10. Ooh. Approved. Okay, I go to two. Bill goes to two. <clears throat> Tap this red for a shock. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the turn. I mean, you do have the shock desert in that deck. <laughs> True. Okay. We're having that ruins. 
Uh, Very good. Abandoned Pioneer, I think, Draw. or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, so for people who remember, people who are keeping track at home, uh, I have a card with flashback in my graveyard uh, that I'm going to cast right now. Uh, it actually only costs two, uh, and it is this Galvanic Iteration. Uh, so whenever I cast my when I cast my next instant or sorcery spell this turn, I copy it and I can choose new targets for the copy. Fine, right? And that double up is going to be used on a new card from this set that I'm a big fan of personally, uh, Pyretic Charge. Okay. Uh, so Pyretic Charge reads: Discard my hand, then draw four cards. For each card discarded this way, creatures I control get plus one plus zero oh until end of turn. By the way, excuse me. Uh, these have prowess. They triggered once off of Galvanic Iteration, and now a second time off of Pyretic Charge. Pyretic Charge is getting copied, so I'm discarding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. That's a lot. Uh, which gives all of my creatures plus eight plus zero. Oh. Mm -hmm. I will then draw four cards and copy Pyretic uh, Pyretic Charge. So I'm going to discard an additional oh, four cards. It's so good. And draw four <laughs> more cards. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, my creatures have a total of plus 12. I still have two or more opponents, so I'm going to play this Training Center untapped I as my land for the turn. <laughs> for now, yeah. Yeah, so now this Haughty Jin, by the way, I wanted to resolve all these first before figuring out his, his power and toughness. So his is one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he is base 11, four. <laughs> He's like a 23 4 <laughs> flyer? Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm going to tap this training center in this command tower for an expressive iteration. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to look at the top three cards of my library. One of them goes into my hand, one goes into exile, and one goes on the bottom. Uh, I will choose the serum visions to go to exile. Uh, this card will go to my hand, this card will go on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That will trigger prowess and also buff the <clears> Jin <throat> by one because this is going to my graveyard. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm just going to play the serum visions to draw a card in scry two. Uh, I'm just going to leave them on top. I don't think it matters currently. Um, and now I would like to move to combat. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, I'm going to attack you. Whoa, with whoa, whoa, one second. Yes. Hottie Jin can now also one shot Alex, right? I just want that, that to be on record. Uh, I think that's 25, actually, yeah. not 26. Are you not, I thought you were 25. Uh, I got him at 26. I'm at 26. Uh, I have Alex at 25. Maybe I'm just cheating. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think the point's going to matter. Okay, well, how about I make it not matter? Uh, I'm going to turn the Seder Wayfinder into an ape. Oh, an ape! <laughs> he now Perfect. has plus one, and so did these. Perfect. <laughs> Prowess. Yeah. Uh, so now I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to attack Alex with the Jin in the air. Uh, and then the remaining, the remainder of my opponents with two each of these dragons that are uh, nine. They're 21 21s. You got anything for that? I don't. I got nothing either. I have an island. Huh. Oh, I think that's it. I'm gonna deal one damage to each creature with flying. <gasps> Damn! <laughs> Please mark that. Uh, prowess. <laughs> <laughs> Good game. Good Great game. Game. Wow. I was uh, hanging on by the, the the skin of my teeth. I was hoping. I felt like I was at forty, and the other two. I was hoping that you would kill the two of them mm. um, and leave me at least alive or limping or whatever. <laughs> I had this. This is the alternate commander for this deck, Vihan Gold Waker. Oh. It turns my treasures into three threes, and I had the mirror entity. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you can just make them huge yeah, and outlaws. Well, I mean, not like huge, huge, but... But they're cool. all outlaws. <laughs> yeah. It makes them assassins anyway, so they're That's already so outlaws. cool. But yeah, this is... I think actually, I think that this is a cooler commander than Olivia for the deck. Mm -hmm. um, this card is is uh, wild. Mm. Yeah. It gives, it gives uh, other outlaws I control vigilance and haste, and then turns treasures into three threes at mm -hmm. the beginning of combat. Wow. wow. But yeah, I think the only thing my deck was missing was an engine to discard cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, between Titania and Omnath, there I was just like, boop, boop, I mean, I was helping boop, you out a little bit with Prankle. Yeah, it, it was but, helpful. Yeah, it was good. It was a good showing. Uh, Aaron, how'd you feel? Uh, the Gaunti costing five is not great. I had a lot of mana, but uh, a lot of the the hits I got off of Gaunti effects outside of Brawl's expertise were uh, unfortunate lands. Yeah, uh, I hit Mountain Island, Bonner's Enclave. Not so great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, it turns out not great thieves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Though I guess stealing land is like the Wild West, right? Like, this, yeah, is my, yeah. this is my problem. Stealing now. land, you staked this somebody, you, you <laughs> jumped somebody else's claim. You, yeah, you annexed. <laughs> Maybe it's actually extremely on brand, just doesn't translate the magic for it. Yeah, yeah, out here doing that homestead act stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I liked this quite a bit um, because I was able to get that one, I, I, like just the one uh, discount effect with all of the really cheap flashback things into the, the storm spell. 
uh, yeah, this deck feels like it's humming when you. Get I like that quite quite a bit. Bill makes five yeah. prowess dragons, <laughs> yeah, five. attacks for 70, 80 damage on yeah, last turn. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So this deck, I feel like, went pretty well, yeah. uh, at least in this showing. But uh, yeah, that's yeah. good stuff. Dragon. Seems strong. Yeah, well, something else that's strong is the products you can find from Gamegenic. They're over there at your local game store, and they're fantastic. So go check them out, buy them if you'd like they're them. There. And yeah, they're also behind us. So if yeah. you see something you like back there, you can just come to Jim's just house and take by. it. <laughs> just come on, just grab it. Come grab it's it. Cool. It's cool. It's good. Uh, in the meantime, though, folks, we just want to say thanks so much for watching this episode. Uh, this is brought to you in part by Wizards of the Coast, and we've got some more of these coming. So stick around. Uh, after all this happens, you'll see a little calendar showing when you might be able to expect another game in this series. And we just want to say thanks so much. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and you should see down below me there are some of our patrons. Those are the folks that keep the lights on around here. If you want to join their illustrious ranks, all you have to do is head down in the doobly doo and find the link that says patreon.com slash the spike feeders mm -hmm. there for as little as one us dollar you can help support this wonderful show keep bill coming keep jim coming keep aaron coming out having a great time playing some magic and we just want to say thank you so much and have a great day